Hello and welcome to this video on using LexTutor and in spe uh, specifically we're looking at using the vocab profile. Oh, sorry, vocab profiler. <coughs> so first a quick overview. We'll talk about what LexTutor's vocab profiler is. I'll show you how it works and then we'll look at analyzing the results. So essentially what it is it's this tool and what it does it breaks down the text so you put a piece of text in from a newspaper article or a journal article etc then what it will do it will break down this text for you and it will tell you which words are the most common 1000 words which words are the, uh, on the second level second most thousand common words it will also highlight which words are in the academic word list and then it will leave you the rest of the words which will be the off list so these are words that aren't in the top 1000 top 2000 or in the academic word lists. So that's what it does. Let's see how it does it now. So to access uh, LexTutor's vocab profiler, you need to use this link here. So you can just type that into your URL. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, um, this is the vocab profiler. Here, this section here is where you're going to put your main text. So what you need to do is highlight all this and delete it. So this is empty. So you can do control, control A to select, and then you can just delete it all. This is where you're going to put your main text, and then you're going to submit. So let's do that now. So what I'll need is an example text, and here it is. If I wanted to, I could copy and paste. So again, I've copied and pasted all that. I could put it all in there, and it will add all the information. Alternatively, let's just undo that. I may want to just have a look at a section. So just for this tutorial, I'll just take this little section here and I'll copy it. And then in here, I paste it. So now I submit. And now we're going to look at analyzing the results. So it's quite a lot to take in here. Have a look here. You can see the blue represents the first 1,000, the green, the second 1,000, yellow for the academic word list, and red for the words that are off list. What I tend to do when I'm using this to find out which words are in the academic word list is simply scroll down. So you can look here and find out which words are in the academic word list. Alternatively, you can scroll down even more and look at a section like this. And this can help you to see uh, how many times it occurs. So as you can see with this text, you've got words like the that, uh, that uh, occur many, many times. For the second 2000, we've only got a few there. We've got argue and argument. And this is a section really we want to be looking at here, the academic word list. So our students would need to know the word academic, which I'm sure they would. But words like bias and maybe motivated, they may not know. And as you can see here, we have the off word list. So that's about it. Just one more thing. I'll show you another way to access it in case you don't have um, this link or you don't want to type in the link. You can also go to Google, uh, ignore that. Um, so if you type in LexTutor, it'll be the first one here. You can either click here, but if you're going to go into the main page, then Vocab Profiler, and then choose VP Classic. But as I say, there's a link as well. Thanks for watching.